welcome to the Bostel Apache National Wildlife Refuge in San Antonio, New Mexico. Every November since 1988, it's been the host to the Festival of the Cranes, where it's not unusual for 10,000 sandhill cranes and upwards of 20,000 snow and Ross's geese to stop by during their annual migration. The festival attracts thousands of bird photographers from all over the world. We're here with professional nature and wildlife photographer David Akubian, who will share some tips for getting great bird images. So when photographing birds, you know, I'm holding the shutter button down so it's not unusual for me to get hundreds or you know, a thousand images just to get that one distinctive image I'm looking for. Here comes the perfect crane, perfectly lit. When I'm photographing birds in flight, the shutter speed is critical, so I try to, to shoot about one one thousandth of a second or faster. And I prefer to use the autofocus in continuous mode and the group focus just to allow it to grab a little wider area to begin with. Here they go, Andre. One thing that I recommend everybody do when they're photographing birds is to learn the bird behavior. For instance, the, the birds taking off into the wind help you predict which way they're going to fly. And so as soon as they lift off, they sort of turn their bodies with the wind and let the wind carry them. So you always want to photograph with your back to the wind, and that'll make it easier to get the birds. As they, they fill these ponds, the seeds start to separate from the, the grasses, and that's why all the cranes have moved forward. As the, the pond gets deeper, the, the birds move closer to us. They dig down into the, the, the soft dirt where the seeds are at. Kind of neat to watch and fantastic to photograph. When photographing birds in flight, one thing that's critical is a long lens, and I'm using the Tamron 150-600 G2 that's going to lock on and track really well and has made my bird photography, especially birds in flight, easy and fun. Beautiful light, early morning like this. You know, obviously the birds are most active early in the morning. Um, you know, they're setting their areas, so that's when you get the most activity as well with the birds. It can take years to become proficient in bird photography, but with a lot of practice, and a little bit of patience, you'll be ready to take flight in no time.